Hello Aries, how are you guys? I hope all is well. <clears throat> I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, seeing my face, you're watching my channel. If you're new, you can click like, subscribe, it helps support the channel, you can share me, all that good stuff. I am here to do a, what are they thinking, what the hell are they up to, what's on their mind reading for anyone that is like in separation and no contact, or either you just beefing with your mate and you just want to know what's on their mind. We're going to get to their brains, see what's going on with these hidden troops, okay? Um, this is a timeless read, so Spirit wants you to know whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get it. Everything is not for everyone, so, you know, um, if it don't apply, you let it fly. It is a general read, so everything won't be for you. Maybe it will, you know, you do luck up every now and then and get those type of readings. I do. Um, timeless. It's a book me for a personal read or to cash out me a donation. It is in the description box on my page. All right, y'all, we're going to get to it. I'm going to use this Hidden True deck. I'm going to pull five cards from this one, and then I'm going to the other deck, and I'm going to get two-card confirmation. You must be an Aries. I have Aries in your birth chart from the sun, moon, rising. First card jumped out. But one, one, one on the clock. Just being near you is intoxicating, Aries. So this person feels like being near you is just so much, it's too much for them. So somebody may not even be seeing somebody because of the fact that to be near you is just so intoxicating. They don't know how to control themselves. They're fighting sexual urges, you know. Oh, wait. And I was going to say, make sure you got your blunt, your drink, because it's going to get real. I got a little bit of a potty mouth. So if you're new, just roll with it. But yeah, you make this person wet if it's a female. And if it's a man, his dick gets hard. That's how intoxicating it is. They, they, they get the urge to gonna fuck you when they see you. They want to take you down through that. Chris Brown, you. I'm going to get confirmation for that as well. Next card out, Aries. I want you. Didn't I just say that? They got to have you at 2 or 2 on the clock. They want to they wanna connect with you. They, they like, man, if I get some of that again, I see it. Somebody's dreaming about you, thinking about you <laughs> consistently. Next card out. I know that I crossed the line with you. So they know they fucked up. They know they did some shit that you shouldn't even be fucking with them no more after. They know they did some shit that, you know what I'm saying, that pissed you off really bad. It had you in this position where you guys are not necessarily speaking right now for some of you um it was boundaries that, that they crossed ooh, that they weren't supposed to okay spirit i can't take all of that hold on yeah. yeah it was boundaries that they crossed that they weren't supposed to but they did it give me two cards spirit. that was like eight cards can take that yeah they crossed your boundaries though they did something that you was just in in, in disbelief about Next card out. I wish I had treated you better. Ooh. With 303 on the clock. Creating and connecting. They wish they had connected with you better. They had treated you right. They had been more honest. I feel like someone was telling a lie. I feel like they were hiding how they really felt. Trying to put a mask on. Next card out. You got, I hid how I, who I really am from you. So there's some part of this person's life that they're living a double life that you have no idea about. Some of you, if you have intuition, is kicking in. Maybe that's why you're watching this reading with 333 on the clock. Okay, I was going to ask, um, just being near you is intoxicating. I was going to ask Spirit, what does that mean? The magician fell out upright and the world in reverse did. So I feel like um, for somebody, okay, the, the magician is someone who has a, Psychic ability. They have the ability to manifest anything they want. The magician is number one. So being intoxicated. Just being in you is intoxicating. You are like number one on their list. The main thing that they want for the magician. Okay. Um, they intuitively sometimes are connected to you. I think, um, like I said, they dream about you with the magician here. This is like thoughts. Okay. The ability. This is like uh, influenced by you. Okay. They concentrate on the connection a whole lot. That's what's so intoxicating. But somebody's manifesting you back. <clears throat> um, yeah, you got the infinity sign on the hood, which is some for some of you, that's twin flame energy. Um, and the world in reverse is someone that you had a lot of different arguments with, a lot of disagreements, the world in reverse. Someone could have also been dealing with karmic outside of the situation with the world in reverse. This is Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy with the world in reverse. Um, they feel like this cycle is incomplete with you guys. The world is lack of achievement. They were disappointed in the connection. It didn't go the way they wanted it to go. Lack of completion. Burden. And they. It, I feel like you guys are stuck in limbo. 
with five on the clock because of conflict. I want you. Why is I want you here for Aries? I want you. Woo, flew out. The moon in reverse. I feel like that's the big secret. The moon in reverse is like that you don't, maybe you don't even think with 515 on the clock. You don't think this person wants you with the moon. They had how they feel. <laughs> um, this is unveiling secrets and releasing fears. Yep. They're deceiving you. They make it seem like they can't stand you for somebody. With the uh, I want you in the moon in reverse. Cancer energy. Pisces, Scorpio energy. But with water, you can see straight clear through this bullshit. That's what water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. I want you. Seven of Cups is making a bad decision. Ooh. Bad move, Santa. Yep. They want you because they made a bad decision. Bad move, Santa. Did some dumb shit. Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. They, it's like a reality check. Poor, poor choices. Okay. Indecisive. And now they feel trapped. They want you and they can't have you for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, King of Cups is sitting somewhere pondering. This jumped out with 606 on the clock. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. King of Cups is somebody in their damn feelings. Thinking about you. That's how bad they want you. They just think about you all the time. I know I crossed the line with you. Why is that here? Man, they feelings with this King of Cups. It could be man or woman. It could be uh, It's masculine energy, but it could be a man or woman. My reasons don't have sex. Yeah. I know I crossed the line with you. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you got the strength in reverse. Leo energy. And then you got five of pentacles in reverse. That is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Strength in reverse is definitely being weak-minded. Weak um, They did some shit that, that made them look weak as fuck to you. They fell a victim to weak-minded. They didn't think before they did this. Okay. Um... This is, they did some shit because they got low self-esteem and they felt inadequate. They didn't even feel like they was worthy to be with you. Lack of confidence. That's why they did this shit. They needed a confidence booster. There was some self-doubt and now they're vulnerable about the situation because they know they crossed the line with you. Now, the Five of Pentacles is here because um, they want a positive change. They want to recover from losing you. They want forgiveness from you for crossing the line. Okay? This is like letting go of a relationship or even improving one. So they could be letting go of a karmic and wanting to improve with you. I wish I treated you better. Why is that here for Aries? Spirit, why is I wish I treated you better? Somebody said, I know you, I fucked up. Um, you got the three of wands. Yeah, they had you in competition with people. The page of wands. I mean, the page of pentacles. I'm sorry. The, the three of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And the Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. The Three of Wands is um, planning and making choices, being happy with the choices. Um, so they're not happy with the choices. They wish they had if they had you. Somebody had your third party. But they want to be happy with the choices. They can't be because they didn't treat you right. So this is something that they have to live with it, with the Three of Wands. It's like facing their truth. They're not exactly happy with it, but they're facing the truth that they know that they fucked up. The Page of Pentacles is um, having plans to try to make this shit better, wanting to be loyal. Jumping in and being faithful. Coming back with some good news. <clears throat> That's why you have, um, I wish I had to treat you better. Because they're trying to come back in with good news with the page. Pages are always about um, being young at heart and like a fresh start. So this is like learning a lesson. And I feel like they're trying to come back with money. They're trying to offer you the little pinnacles they do have. I hide how, how I really feel about you. Why is that here? Fair. Last card out. I hide how I really feel about you. One jump. Two jumped out. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. I hide how I really feel about you. Four of Pentacles is don't want to share somebody. Two of Wands. Yes. Four of Pentacles is a Virgo towards Capricorn energy. And then you got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. The Four of Pentacles is not wanting to share, keeping somebody to themselves. So they had that they really don't want to even ha be uh, sharing you. They're greedy. Okay? they stingy. I'm here on um, Ginger Wine. Selfish. Yeah, they want you to themselves all the time. And I'm also, um, the Four of Pentacles is possession. So it's like they they look at you sometimes as an object, which is not good. But it's like they want to keep you to themselves. Very, very jealous with the Four of Pentacles. And then you got the Two of Wands. Is, two are about partner, parent, and choices, decisions in tarot. So the Two of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is, um, the Two of Wands is giving me a feeling of detaching from a situation, suddenly leaving. Okay, seeking better options, which could be you. This is um, stay or should I go? Leaving a situation. 
okay, with 10 on the clock because they're completely over this situation and they're trying to figure out what to do. Okay, Aries, this has been your um, what the hell they got going on, Read, Click like, subscribe, share me. What are they thinking? How do they feel? Don't forget to give me the thumbs up because it helps support the channel. Um, I'll be back with regular love reads. I'm just playing with these different decks I got. And I just wanted to give you an update on how your person was feeling. Um, for a personal read, it's a cash out me a donation. It is in the description box, Aries. Um, I hope you guys like. I'm sending you love and light. I am Phoenix Rising. I hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, be safe. Bye-bye, guys.